Hi, it's me again, Terry Kerrigan, uh, now talking to you about congruency. So, uh, leadership, you know, I'm not making it, you know, just to let you know while you're watching these leadership videos, this isn't something that I'm making up. You know, this is a combination of experience and education. Now, one of the principles to great leadership is something called congruency. It means that your personal or health or professional direction that you espouse in your words, in your uh, in your writings, in the way um, uh, the way you're expressing yourself as a leader, is aligned with the truth of yourself. So my behavior as a leader, my actions as a leader, my words, the direction that the vision that I'm. Um, uh, expressing is aligned with my true self. Now, as a leader, I can I can tell you right now that when I was had poor leadership, it was when my personal congruency was not aligned with my vision. And I you know, I made some mistakes earlier on in my career when let me think of an example. Um, as an athlete, I was eating the way I said uh, other people should eat. I was exercising and training with commitment the way I said, the way I expressed. But some lack of inclusiveness. Uh, I was, uh, I had a very, uh, I would say, compartmentalized way of thinking. And my poor leadership skills in the past were, um, were very evident to me and to the effect that it was having on my, on my, uh, my clientele when my personal leadership in an emotional sense with the loved ones of my life were, were not uh, optimal uh, at that time. And it was a lack of awareness. I used to have this, this frame of mind that felt like I could separate. If I separated my athletic uh, world and I could completely focus on it. So think of it as athletics or work or even relationships. You see people isolate themselves into these worlds and then these other parts of their life start to fall apart. So I can tell you very humbly that many parts of my life were challenged when I didn't have this understanding of congruency. So at this stage of my life, many things are very congruent. My love, the love part of my life is very evident, very clear to me. My compassion for other people, uh, for the world, my connection to my clientele and my audience, my training, my diet. I, I'm finally at a place where I've had consistency in my own personal leadership for myself and I see its impact on my clientele. So, you know, when you look at Tony Robbins or any of these um, in, incredible leaders, you know, it's interesting, many of them put themselves on pedestals or in a place of, of where they're untouchable. And you don't see the vulnerability in them. They don't. You don't hear it in their voice. You don't see it in their eyes, and it makes you wonder if it's, um, you know, if they really did go through those struggles. And we don't, uh, as a leader, we don't want to talk about our past or our life in a way that um, is used in a manipulative way to inspire uh, transformation. And it, it's, it has to be relevant. So when anyone's talking to you, anyone's giving you advice, you want to find out, is there a relevance to the advice they're giving you, and what is their personal experience with it, and are they connected to you, are they really listening to you, which gets me into some of the other subject matter that I'll be presenting in the next uh, video modules. Okay, thanks.